Hi, my name is Max. I'm a SAP EWM consultant at McCoy & Partners. In this video, I'm going to introduce SAP EWM, highlighting its key features and capabilities that make it an essential tool for modern warehouse management. At the end of the video, I'm going to showcase a short demonstration of a basic inbound process. EWM stands for Extended Warehouse Management. SAP Extended Warehouse Management is a powerful solution designed to optimize warehouse operations, increase productivity and improve overall supply chain efficiency and visibility. Before we deep dive into the solution, I want to tell you something about the deployment options. EWM is a standalone solution. It means it can operate as an add-on from an ERP system like SAP S4HANA. It's driven by documents passed to EWM. To drive these processes in EWM, we work with inbound and outbound deliveries. These are sent to EWM from an ERP component. This can be an ERP component from SAP, but also from a different supplier. We can roughly divide the processes in EWM in three categories. Inbound, outbound and internal. Inbound processes contain loaning the goods from a truck, receiving the goods, performing a quality check, deconsolidate the goods and finally put away the goods to the destination bin in the warehouse. Later on in the video I'm going to show you an inbound process in the system. Internal processes don't have anything to do with inbound or outbound deliveries. They are used for optimizing our warehouse. For example, counting goods or replenishing goods from bulk to pick locations. Finally, outbound. Here we pick the goods from their location in the warehouse and bring them to a packing work center to make ready for shipping. When this is done, we take them to the staging area where they are waiting to be loaded. Now you're familiar with the basic processes of EWM, I want to go over a typical warehouse layout. Every warehouse is of course different, this is just an example of how it could look like. A warehouse number consists of buildings and storage facilities in one physical location. Storage types are zones or areas with the same physical or logical attributes. For example, shelf storage or high rack storage. Storage sections are used to control storage within a storage type. For example, for fast or slow movers. A storage bin is the physical location for the storage of products. Staging areas and work centers are also storage types, but they are designed to perform activities like packing and checking goods. Let's dive deeper into the structure of a warehouse. In this schematic overview, the hierarchy of the different organizational units in the warehouse is displayed. As you can see, a warehouse has one unique warehouse number. A warehouse can have different types of storage, which are displayed in the second row. A storage type can be divided further into sections. The lowest organizational unit in the warehouse is a storage bin. Here we can also distinguish storage bin based on the measurements or maximum load capacity. This example shows that some storage bins are specifically designed for euro and block pallets. Last but not least, I want to show you a basic short inbound process in the system. I'm going to process this inbound delivery via the warehouse monitor. The warehouse monitor gives me a good overview of what's happening within my warehouse. I can take a look at outbound deliveries, inbound deliveries, physical inventory documents and access information about my stock. I'm going to click on the inbound delivery. Here I give in the number I've received from my supplier. In this screen I see my inbound delivery header details. I click on full screen to give a better overview. Here I see the name of my supplier. If I click on the item button I see how many items my inbound delivery contains. I can also see the product details and the quantity of the items. If I go to the header details you see several statuses which are important to the inbound delivery. Since the goods are in my warehouse, I'm going to book a goods receipt. If I click on the green button, I'll see that the goods receipt status has changed to completed. The only thing I have to do now is put away the goods to their final destination bin. I see here that there is a warehouse task available for me to process. I can do this via a handheld scanner or via this monitor. The status has now changed to C, which means completed. 
If I now refresh the added details, you will see that all the statuses have changed to completed. And this means that my inbound delivery is finalized. This was a basic process and I hope this has given you an overview of what EWM is capable of. If you want to see more in-depth videos about EWM, take a look at this video from my colleague Oliver. See you next time.